Well, we had a snowstorm last night. About, uh, I'd say five inches of snow at least. And here's a picture of my back porch off my bedroom uh, this morning. And uh, it's uh, winter. <laughs> anyway, back to my clay. Um, I'm going to be adding some stuff to the base. I went outside before it started snowing and grabbed the some dead uh, limbs off the uh, from under a tree. I've uh, drilled holes and put uh, uh, fondue sticks into the holes and, and into the uh, foam base, which holds this in place. But I've made it so I can take it off, so I can work on the uh, clay of the horse. I just want to see what it looks like positioned and... Uh, I don't know if I'll do this or not, but it's just an idea that came to me over the weekend, and uh, I thought I'd try it out. I've got uh, a few other pieces of uh, wood over there. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've uh, propped up the uh, clay. I've got to work on the uh, head of the horse, putting the uh, bridle on. And this is the only way I can think of doing it. And so I'm going to try that out and see if it works out. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, one of the first things I need to do is to get the uh, front chest of the horse corrected and that would have involved the bottom part of his neck while I got while I have it at this angle sorry I keep in hitting a camera because the camera's right there next to my arm I think you can hear the wind blowing outside. It's a south wind, which means it's going to warm up. It got down in the 20s last night, so the weather is changing again. But that's Montana. Snow one day and sun and warm the next. Okay, I'm putting the bridle on. It's a snaffle bit bridle. You gotta make sure it lines up with the other one. And it does. I'm making the buckle for the uh, adjusting strap.
Now this is the uh, piece of leather that the uh, rope or the strap going to, or the reins connect to the bridle. I don't know how much of this you can even see. Oh Lord, that's hard work. Not physically, it's just mentally. And a strain on them on my neck and on my shoulders as well. Well, as you can see, I've got the uh, bridle on. It's just a snaffle bit futurity bridle. <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering the snaffle bit fraternity I used to attend in Reno, Nevada. Sorry, I didn't mean to say snaffle bit fraternity, because that's a competition that goes on uh, once a year in Reno and probably across the country. But uh, and the buckles they give away as prizes are the most amazing looking works of art I've ever seen. Anyway, I always wanted to get one, but I knew I was never going to be able to do that because I was not a horseman. Anyway, got this uh, bridle, I think, decently done. I'm trying to make it less hard to cast. The only reason I didn't get a more complicated uh, modern-day type bridle is because they probably used... They snap a bit, or they had a hackamore, or even an Indian uh, type of bridle, Native American bridle, which was simple. But I'm just assuming it would have been a uh, snap a bit. All right. That's going to do it for today, and uh, I really appreciate you guys, all of you tuning in to my videos uh, and uh, following me and uh, if you're just finding my videos you might want to click the uh, subscribe button and the bell so you can receive updated videos whenever I produce them which is usually every time I sculpt All right, everybody. I'm, I'm going to tell you now, it's going to be a short week. I think I'm going to take Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. It's my uh, birthday coming up, and uh, I'm going to take some time off for myself. I'll be uh, 77. Yeah, I'm getting up there in age. <laughs> it's so much fun getting old. But I at least made it this far. I've got a lot of friends that never made it this far in their life. So I'm grateful for every year that I have added to my life. All right. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.